trying to improve your golf game, but you're feeling the effects of all those practice swings, there are some steps, steps you can take to make sure you're on the course all summer long. And here today to talk about how to stay healthy golfing is physical therapist with Hartford HealthCare's Bone, Bone and Joint Institute, Sarah M. Law. Thanks for being here, Sarah. Thanks for having me. All right, let's start off here. What are, what are some common golf-related injuries? The most common golf-related injuries are usually to the low back or the elbows. Uh, for a right-handed golfer, it's most often the left side of the low back and obviously opposite for your lefty golfer. Uh, both sides of the elbow are pretty common. It just depends on the lead versus trail side, but those are usually the most that we see in the clinic. So how do you treat those injuries? What do you do? Yeah, so golfers, uh, the injuries are usually a, a combination of a lot of different factors. Those factors include per programming or um, if they're overusing and overtraining, uh, could be more poor nutrition, poor body or swing mechanics, um, poor club fitting even, and poor instruction. So a lot of people get be their best tips from their buddy, right? So it might just not be appropriate for every golfer. Um, so usually what we do is try to find the cause of why people have pain and not just treat the source of pain. That way um, the pain doesn't just keep coming back because golf is a very repetitive sport. Right. All right. So you've got uh, some golf swing analysis at Hartford HealthCare at the Bona Joint Institute. How does that work? Yeah, so we usually see two two types of golfers. You have your golfer who may be injured or your golfer who's just looking to enhance their performance. Both types of golfers come in, they get a golf movement competency. So it's basically a golf-specific movement screen that'll look for um, areas to improve mobility or stability deficits. The Bone and Joint Institute has a state-of-the-art motion analysis lab where golfers um, come in and we have high-speed cameras look at their pelvic rotation, their trunk, neck, shoulder, arms, hips, ro all that rotation, all the different joints of the body. It's looking at um, swing velocities and the golfers standing on force plates so we get their weight shifting. And really all this information comes into one pretty collaborative report and helps the, the team to make some recommendations into their programming. Okay, so I get this data that tells me I'm a lousy golfer, which I already know. How, how does that help you help me prevent injuries? Yeah, so like I said, all this stuff goes into one big report, and we usually are, again, trying to identify and tackle the reasons of why someone's moving the way that they're moving, which is usually what's causing additional stress. Um, and we we also pull in some resources we have. So if we're identifying that as technique, then we're going to refer you to a golf pro. If we see that nutrition is actually a big part of portion of that or even just your mental state golf is a very mental game we'll bring in our sports psychologist too so we have a lot of uh, a lot of opportunity to have a collaborative program for golfers some good advice now if we could just hit the ball properly i'd be fine <laughs> hartford healthcare physical therapist uh, sarah emlaw sir thanks for your time today appreciate it thank you